man. You know what I mean? I do. Come on already. Hey, this is Johnny Bean, live uh, 4.57 p.m. Look at that. California time, man. Surf's up. June 21st, 2017. I'm here with... Uh, who's here? Who, who's, uh, who's grimacing? Ah, it's grimace. It is grimace. <laughs> grimace. <laughs> what is a grimace? I don't even know. What is he? It's a big purple thing. <laughs> hey, Connor Web Twenty Nine. How are you, man? Hey, Diamond Dave, Lucy, Stefan, Billy Shelton, Ryan Googly John Constantine. Happy Wolfgang Wednesday, everybody. Wow. That's what we. Uh, that's what we call Wednesdays. Paul Glover. Hey, man. Yeah. Hey, when when Rob when Rob joins us, everybody hide. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> Yeah. Rob was supposed to be here. He says he's here, but he's not. Uh, <laughs> everybody kicking my... Oh, he's kicking his parents out the door. Ah! Oh, it was just Father's Day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still, everybody hide. Wasn't that on Sunday, though? I mean, didn't, didn't we do dads already? I don't know. Was was that Father's Day? Oh yeah, it was. That's right. That's right. Sunday, man. It, it feels like a week since Sunday, man. Yep. Hey, Frank C. David. Adam E V H. Hey, man. Uh, Diamond Dave Luffy. Lu <laughs> Diamond Dave says uh, I'm going to be driving, so I won't be in the chat. Check my Instagram at at Diamond. At Diamond Dave Lucy to see my Wolfgangs. All right. Everybody, go over and check out Diamond Dave Lucy on Instagram. At Diamond Dave Lucy. Uh, yeah. Connor Web 29 says Guitar Center is usually the best place for that if you're in the US. Yeah. Any place that has a tech will do. Oh, I didn't. I didn't say that part. He was. He was replying to somebody. <laughs> yes, he was re replying to G Ryan Googly Eye. He says, "I've built a guitar and it has some electronic, maybe soldering issues. Do you know of a place that he can get it fixed?" Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes. Um, cool. Very cool. Hey, Apollo X, nineteen sixty-five. How are you doing? So hey everybody, welcome. Wolfgang Wednesday is what we call this, or really it's just, uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Can we say hump day? I don't think Sure, I'm why not? <laughs> you can say anything you like. It's your, it's your show. <laughs> okay. Um, I got I got a package in the mail, dude. Yeah, did I, I know. Did I just you say that? You can't open right? it yet, though. Huh? You can't open it yet. <laughs> I know, I know. That's that'll be next week. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I could wait. I could wait years to open that. You know how I am. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. <laughs> hey, Mark Taylor. Symmetry's here. Hello. Hey. Says hello, guys. Hello. Yes. So uh, while we're waiting for, uh, is it Ron? I think Ron's coming. Uh. I really think we should say no at this point. Huh? I think we should tell him no at this point. No what? Can't come. Can't? Well, he already has a link, so. Oh. He, yeah. uh, I just, I just hope he, uh, he knows when he jumps in that he's actually on here. He's not yeah. you know, swearing nonstop like usual. <clears throat> yes. Ryan says, I just got a package in the mail. I had ordered some Simpsons comics, comic books. Cool, man. I didn't even know that they were a comic. Well, they're cartoons. Yeah, but I didn't know they were comics. They make, they make perfect comic book characters. They I'm do. sure they, they look exactly the same. Well, I would imagine they would be, since they're cartoons. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pris. Paul Glover said he just got his new EVH strap in the mail. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome, man. What what guitar what guitar is that on? 
Text us, text us a, a picture of your guitar with your strap if you want. Anybody, you can text this phone number. You can text uh, pictures if you just want to say hi. 415-952-3263. Put that on your, on your speed dial. Do cell phones even have speed dial? No. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan Googly Eye says you guys should roast each other. We do. We roast each other every day. We are constantly making fun of each other. So I think we should all make fun of Ryan Googly Eye. Come on. I mean, come on. What's what's that name about? You don't you don't make fun of the of the audience, man. Why not? This is this yeah. isn't Jerry Springer. It doesn't have to be Jerry Springer. Did I tell you I, I thought I saw Jerry Springer today? Yes. Well, I, you didn't tell me, but I, I read the news today. Mm -hmm. it, I, I swear it, it was him. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. He walked right past me. This is at the post office. Walks right past me, and he said something like, excuse me, or pardon me, or get the H out of my way. I forget which it was. Hey, who's in here? Hey, we're hey, live, by the way. I know. No, I'm sorry, everybody. Hello. My mom and dad paid me an unexpected visit, which was great, but I couldn't get them out the door. My mom was trying to, <laughs> my mom was trying to fit. I'm like, I'm going live. I have my buddies. I'm hanging out. My dad's like, come on, Sue. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And my mom just hanging there drinking her uh, scotch on the rock. So, hey, oh Dave, 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 look what I'm playing with tonight. Cool. <laughs> How you guys doing? Great. Good, good, good. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> So what do you call that? The uh, what does Seinfeld call that? The the drop in? The drop in, yeah, yeah. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The drop in. <laughs> oh, we see Dave's mom walk by all the time. My mom, my roommate, oh, yeah. my yeah. dog, Dennis, Randy, <laughs> my uh, lizard. Yeah. Sometimes Desiree walks by. You know. <laughs> well, yeah. Not yeah. happening today, though. No, I think she's uh, yeah, she's back in the back in the south, back mm -hmm. in the south end of Texas. How's everybody doing tonight? Great. I'm gonna pull up the chat room here on my phone. <clears throat> How are you, Johnny? I'm good. How are you? Are you okay? How are you? I'm great. I'm actually now that we're in summertime. Um, uh, everything's everything. Hold on, let me just put my phone on silent here. Whoop! Let me turn my volume down. Oh. Sorry, sorry. You have to delete this film now. <laughs> yeah. We can't have that sound. Isn't that horrible? It's awful. Whose ringtone is that? No, it's not a ringtone. It's the uh, it's it's the stupid um, when you go on YouTube. It's the commercial that starts playing, right? You know, and then my volume turned down quick enough. Oh, John I forgot. Constantly. I forgot. We love those. <laughs> Adam E V H. Hey, uh, Chris Forty Six. John Constantine. Hey guys, how are you guys all doing? Good deal. Good deal. Yeah. No, you sound you sound a little uh worse. <clears throat> yeah, I have a uh um it's the it's the allergies, the pollen. Um just really raises heck with my eyes and um oh, don't rub them. Uh, I know I made that mistake when, the other day. It's horrible. When once you start, you can't stop, man. I know. It's like laced potato chips. You know? I was just gonna say, isn't that like Doritos? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Still make more. Yeah. And I think they cut they call it horse breath. Yeah, I don't really. That's not what. Hey, I'm Lynn. Doing. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Lynn. Lynn, I, I hear that she's managing the Joe Wentz project now. Awesome. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. Hey. So, so Dave, I'm actually going to come out. Um, I'm teaching a. Um, I'm teaching a safety class on Saturday, and I probably won't be getting out until like two, three o'clock. So for me to get on the road by, by the time I get home, get everything packed away at four o'clock, I wouldn't be able to be out there till probably seven o'clock and then, you know, to, to drive back on Sunday night's foolish. So uh, I'm going to come out next weekend. Absolutely. For sure. I already have plans. It's going to okay. happen. All right. Well, just make sure that it happens that weekend because I won't be, I won't be home for the following two or three weekends. I'll be in North Carolina. No, nope, it's going to happen. It's going to be that weekend of the first of July. It will be happening. And I will be there. Um, and I was. Do you? Um, can you do me a favor? Can you? Can you throw some eye bolts on my uh, black and white guitar? It's already done. I did that the first time that when I first got it. Probably forgot you even had the thing. <laughs> no, I, I haven't forgotten because I need it out of the house. I have no room. 
Dave's like, Dave's like, I haven't forgotten I have it because I needed a pickup and I needed a Floyd and some tuners and yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've been, I've been raping that guitar of all its things. <laughs> uh, I, you know, Floyd Rose, all, it's all, it's all. Oh, good. Oh, that's funny. You know, I, I needed a set of tuning pegs, so I took it off that guitar. <laughs> yeah, the thing comes in with some like real cheapo tuners and like you know. Some like uh, cheapo bridge, <laughs> like a Floyd special. And hey, when did the EVH start putting Floyd specials on these things? You guys think I'm kidding, <laughs> Dave? Well, uh, if if I come out there and that's the case, I'm not staying in your bed, okay? Well, that's that's a given. <laughs> oh gosh, yuck! <laughs> hey, Paul, where's Joe? I don't know, Joe. Where are you? He's probably mm -hmm. driving. Hey, Jaden James. Uh, everybody's saying hi to Rob. Yep. John, John Constantine has a has some. Uh, David Ennis. Hey, hey, how you doing, Dave? Yeah, John. Uh, yeah, I, I know it's. Um, I haven't found anything that works either, um, other than just you know just dealing with it. I, I pretty much get these allergies through the month of June, and then. It levels off, and I'm fine through July, August, September, and then like late fall or early, well, actually like early October, I get hit again. And the funny thing is, you know, when I was in my 20s and 30s, I never had this problem. It was only in my the, the last like five, six years. It's strange. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yeah, when when I hit 50 last week. I, I <laughs> Happy really birthday feel... last week, John. Thank you, thank you, man. Thank you. And yes, all of you on Facebook, I still have to get back to you guys. I got something like 400 uh, happy birthdays or something. Oh, by the way, Johnny, that was a great picture of you and Rudy uh, Learen on uh, on Facebook. I'd never seen that. That was a great pic. Oh, thanks. That was cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's a super cool dude. Yeah, I just happened to run into him. Uh, <laughs> great one time. No spooning, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking to Dave. Yeah. Because my name is Rob. <laughs> Nobody's telling you. Well, who gets to be the big spoon? Never mind. For that. <laughs> no, yeah. As I long, mean, the guy like uh, as, Rudy, though, as long as there's no forking. <laughs> yeah, forking. <laughs> reminds me of that. Uh, and this isn't a swear word. This is not a swear word. So we can say this. But reminds me when I came out of the Chinese restaurant a few months ago, I I went to the Chinese restaurant. I ordered, you know, um, like pork fried rice and chicken fingers and the works. So I come out of there and and I'm paying for the meal and and you know like oh, that'll be sixteen ninety five. You want a fucking spoon? And I'm like, excuse me, a, a what? A fucking spoon? You want a fucking spoon? And I'm like, no. Is this a joke? I'm good. And um, <laughs> I'm all set. And I'm walking out. And I'm like, oh, a fork and spoon. <laughs> That's what she was trying to say. A fucking spoon. And I'm like, oh. I'll take a knife though, but you know, it's like my throat. Hey, Tone Talk. Look what just happened. Uh, <laughs> it's cool. I don't know what just happened. Was that a joke? Uh, I guess. Oh no, no. Was that I a guess. No, that was serious. Yeah, right. That's not like that was, yeah, that was something from like the Dean Martin special or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Hey, Michael Bishop. <laughs> uh oh, Bill says he lost the video. Are we still here? Yeah, remember when you and I did it a week ago, Johnny, and just like I dropped out like a out of nowhere. No. It was like the last Sunday. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> hey. Raymond Raymond Urbino wants to know what I what we think of uh, of Mean Street guitars. Just the, the the fact that we didn't even answer that question should tell you. <laughs> um, I've I've kind of like strummed one one time. A friend of mine friend of mine has one. Uh, we had dinner one time and he showed it to me. It's okay. I don't know. Well, if you if you thinking of making a, a fifty one fifty replica out of one, they're not the best. They're not the best. They don't look right. Yeah, they, the, probably, they probably 
are good. It's probably a good piece of wood. Nice, you know, probably is okay, but it doesn't look right. So it, don't make your 5150 replica out of it. Let's just say there's there's probably more accurate, as Dave said, there's probably more accurate um, packages to go with, you know, than, than that particular one. Hey, Vinny. Vinny, what were you talking about on Facebook earlier? Did you see his post? Did you see what? I didn't see it. <laughs> Something Let's, beef cakes? I don't, I don't know, know but I think saying. we're going to start roasting everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to start roasting everybody. You know, when does anyone ever know what Vinny's ever talking about? <laughs> It might have been a quote. It might have been a quote from something. I think. Um, let's not see. to, uh, not to. Well, while, while Johnny's looking at something, I was just going to say I was watching. Uh, it took, took me a while to watch it, but last Wednesday, you guys did an awesome show on uh, on Wolfgang Wednesday, and you guys talked about the uh, you know the fifty one fifty guitar being detuned, tuned down for the song fifty one fifty, and 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 the delay that they had, you know, in between. 5150 and the keyboard song prior or the, the drum solo after whatever it was I'd have to look at the set list but if you look at all of the set lists as you guys know I mean I because we were actually talking yeah. about that earlier that day texting you're, three of you're us talking about the 5150 tour set list 5150 tour yeah um <clears throat> because I have so many live recordings from that tour and Johnny had made a comment you know oh, I wish Rob was here because you know he, he knows all these you know these these shows and and it's it's pretty standard as you guys already pointed out that they you know they they had time and like Dave said if you don't if if you can't tune the guitar down and back up in eight minutes I mean you you know you're not going to be Eddie Van Halen's guitar tech but it's really really simple basically all you do is you just tune the guitar down it was before the detuner days and then you just adjust the spring tension in the back of the two claws a little bit to coincide with how much the drop went down or went back up and it's pretty much that simple. And on the very rare few shows that they played where there might not have been enough time, those were also times when you would see Eddie using one of the backup Kramers. And I'm going to show you guys a, a, um, a couple of pictures here real quick um, that kind of – because I really wanted to show you guys. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's you and that's a Frankenstein. <laughs> Raymond, uh, Lynn Marie said, uh, Lynn uh, was gifted a Mitchell Jr. Dreadnought Acoustic. Dave, what do you think? Is it a good starter? Yes, it's a very good starter guitar. <clears throat> Is it comfortable? If it's comfortable to you, then it's perfect. Mm -hmm. um, hey, Richard. Hey, Cat Dumpling. Here's some really thanks, thanks, for, thanks for joining us, everybody. So oh, look at that. Looking really, really, really cool pictures of Eddie playing a backup Kramer. And this is not, I don't know, I don't think this is the 918V. It's not. It's not. And then I have. Um, There's some nice pants, though. Yeah, really cool. Here's a nice. I like those. Nice picture. I would, wear, I would wear those. Nice picture of the 1984 Kramer. Um, another cool pick of the 84. Really, really cool picks. Notice it has the uh, updated neck on it. Uh, <clears throat> there's the little 5150 pictures. Here's a really cool pick of Ed playing the Steinberger guitar before the faceplate was painted. Or it could have been, I mean, he had two of them that tour, so it could have been any of the others. But. And then here's one more I have of one of the backup Kramers. You can see yeah, it's the same guitar. Yep, same one. Yep, really cool guitars. I that's thought... the same. That's that's really the same one that he used uh, when he played when he would play Dreams when he would do the guitar solo playing Dreams. That's the guitar he would use most of the time. Here's that's another... the same guitar right there. Is the same guitar. Yeah, yeah, and that this might I think is this this is the one that was in the video that Johnny was talking about, right, Dave? Uh... Yeah, it's the same same exact guitar as the other photos. There's this one. This is a cool one. That's also the same guitar, yeah. So he must have had this, you know, th this one guitar must have been one of the more favorite backups. <clears throat> you guys have probably seen this picture, but there's a picture of the backup, like all the racks of, you know, mm -hmm. all the backups and then the 84 and the 5150. And I don't know if they were lined up in any particular order, but it's pretty
pretty cool because the um, it's you that picture you can't see the 918V stickers on that guitar yet. So I'm still thinking that somewhere in mid tours when those 918V stickers went on that particular backup. I think I'm still kind of up in the air about it, but. Mm -hmm. But that one, like you said, Dave, that, that seems to be that one guitar, that backup seems to be pretty consistent with one of the ones that. He's yeah, playing. that's uh, that guitar is the uh, <clears throat> that's the guitar that, you know, nowadays right on the face, it says fifty one point five zero. You know, it says fifty point five zero on it. Mm -hmm. That's that guitar. You know, <clears throat> Eddie, Eddie signed it and wrote five oh point five five one point five zero right, right on the face of it. That's that guitar. And then there's one that Johnny was talking about. I can find a photo of it. What? I don't know. I don't understand what you guys are talking about. But then there's one Johnny was talking about that had a five on it, just a five, the number five. Yeah, it's a totally different guitar. That's from 1988. That was later. That, that was a later one. And that, that, that one's awesome. I love that guitar. I've loved it since I first saw it in yeah, uh, that's the, the, the uh, hard rock, uh, the, the hard, uh, hard. Rolling, Stone, Rolling Stone, the Rolling Stone Monsters of Rock issue, where it has the faces on the front yeah. and their eyes, are, their eyes are cartoons. Yeah, you love that striping pattern. I know. I love it, and not not just the not just the pattern, but the uh, the headstock, the Kramer was have the, the gold Kramer logo on the headstock as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which which was something I never saw. Yeah. Oh, really? Which you still. <clears throat> Rarely, you rarely see that. Yeah, he had some. Um, actually, you guys are gonna love this picture. Speaking of that guitar, <clears throat> this picture I have on the wall here has that guitar right here. <clears throat> this is a great picture here. You guys have seen this. And there's yeah, that. I have, I have that guitar. I have that photo. Yeah, <laughs> I have that photo. Hang on, let me present. I also let have this photo. Well, you're not present. He's pre well. He's presented. You can't Hang see on. the whole thing. You can see the uh, 1984 was right here. Here's the guitar Johnny's talking about. Here's two huh? other. No, that's not that's not the one I'm talking about. Oh, that isn't it, Johnny? I'm sorry. No. <clears throat> I stand corrected. That's a different one then. Okay. That's a different one. Um, man, that is so cool. The one directly behind Edward there. That one. I wonder what, what that is. That has a pickup. Um, that that's the guitar that that guitar is the uh the one that he's that the one that he's holding in the um where sandy's let's, using let's the, the oh two guitar the yellow yeah. one go, go back that way i'm sorry about the clip no 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 look at the headstock it's different no yeah the one directly behind oh this one this one edward's head yeah Look at that headstock. Oh, okay, yeah. That that actually. Oh, that one's hanging up in a Hard Rock. That that almost that headstock almost looks like the one that that's at the uh, the Hard Rock uh, Hotel in Las Vegas. Yeah, that's yeah. that guitar. I, either it, you know what? Maybe. It's either that guitar or it could be uh, it could be Andy Papiccio's guitar from Floyd Rose. Hmm. Thank you again, Floyd Rose, for the retweet today. <clears throat> Love you guys. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. We know Rob's here. Yep. yep. Said yep. 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 <laughs> yep. I'm not actually listening, but I'll say yep. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? No. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> uh, they just sent me a text. Oh, excuse me. I thought he did. No, I didn't send you a text. Oh, okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Ryan, do I know? Do I know the EVH fan YouTuber Harry? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Harry, who? What are you guys from King of the Hill? Yep. 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 Uh, mm -hmm. Here's a good picture of the mm -hmm. nine one eight V. <clears throat> yeah. Actually, I got. I can't even. Is it? I can't even see it. I got an updated. I got an updated. Hang on. That's that's the picture Dave just showed, but Hubbard yeah. actually sent me this. It's um, like a some sort of show and tell or something. He took the glare out of it a little bit. Um, Dave, show that again. Show what again? Oh, what, oh, what Vinny was talking about was the, the band called Gore. One of the members, his name is Beefcake the Mighty. That's what Vinny was telling. Us. 
Here's our photo awesome, Benny. <clears throat> it's, bad. it's bad. Don't just it's bad. That's it. Hang on a second. What's that? What's that from? That's Hard the one rock. that made it. Yeah, that's the one that was on Facebook a couple weeks ago. The one I just showed version of that same picture. Hubbard what said. What guitar am I looking for now? I was looking for one. <laughs> I don't even remember what I'm looking for. Nobody oh, here. Heard. It is. Here it is. Here it is. I found it. That one. That's the one. Yeah. The, yep. That's the one that Eddie's always using from that tour. Yeah. See, it says fifty point at uh, fifty one point fifty right in the front. That's cool. Yeah. So that's that's the one Rob was just showing all those pictures of. That's yes, it? with Eddie Holt. Yeah, with the with the cool pants. Yeah, that's that guitar. Those are some cool pants. And where is that guitar now, Dave? Again, what did you say? It looks like it's in. Oh, it's he gave it to someone uh, for my friend. I don't know. I can't read the guys. I can't read. Te Larry? Tarry? Ta Ta I don't know. Larry. Some guy. He gave it to somebody. Hey, U.S. American uh, made maybe guitars. Maybe Tommy. Tom I haven't know. opened it yet. Haven't, I've not opened the package yet. <clears throat> Best in time, man. Alberto, what's going on? How you doing? Hey, Alberto. <clears throat> Gary, and you, you, you guys are wearing the same shirt. <laughs> oh yeah, no kidding. Cool. Awesome. What Lynn, what what's so terrible? Dave, that's terrible. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it either. <laughs> Probably something you said. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Poor Dave. He didn't even do anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh <laughs> Richard Friend, this is great. I had a question on these exact guitars. Dave, have you seen the back of the Hard Rock Cafe New York guitar yet? No. I know you need a replica, but guess at the back. Yeah. No, and that'll it'll probably never there'll never be a photo of it. Never. That's a cool guitar, and Dave's. I think. I, I think. Dave's and actually, mine is probably close. The back is probably close because <laughs> on that on that. Um, Hot for teacher style guitar. The tape is just one continuous, you know, like if you see if you see a stripe on the front, it continues all the way around the back. So yeah. kind of uh, kind of easy to guess where the stripes would be. I mean, it's probably not going to be perfect, but what I think Dave's probably one of the only ones that has a replica of that particular guitar. I think. Yeah, and the neck that Paul Unkert made me is on that guitar, so it makes it really super close to having an original. Yep. Yep, definitely. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool. We're starting to see a lot of uh, a lot of those guitars coming out now. I mean, Dave Dave made that particular guitar. He did the uh, Vita Stereolitis guitar. I think Hubbard's doing that. I, I, I'm working on one that I'll show tonight. I think that's one of the – well, I know Scott has one, but – you know, there's a lot of these backup guitars that are kind of coming out now. It's kind of cool to see these things getting built now, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, Hubbard's going to do a Vetus guitar? He's talking about it. Um, he hasn't started it yet, but he, he mentioned he was going to do a Vetus guitar. And he's going to do a 918V. Um, and he's, out of, he's out of control, that guy. Oh, he's incredible. Incre Remember it took him like, what, like, like a day and a half after those pictures of the fair warning mystery guitar came out, the Yamaha SF3000, and all of a sudden Hubbard's got, got one on the wall all painted and taped up. It's like, really, dude? <laughs> it's crazy. Crazy kid. I still mm -hmm. like that guitar. It is cool. There's one on eBay the other day for 350 bucks, the single pickup and everything, the right bridge. And I was looking mm -hmm. at it, I'm going, ah, I just can't. I don't know. It did look cool. He just, said to have, that, just to have a guitar that's never going to be played, that's going to sit on a wall, doesn't make sense. I'd play it. But Johnny, you know, you're Johnny Bean. I, I know. And no, you wouldn't pay it because you wouldn't pot, you wouldn't pay for it. So you wouldn't buy you wouldn't play it. Uh. <laughs> it if, has someone, if someone was giving it to you, you'd play it. I just had I just had to get a new car. Exactly. Come on. What'd you get? A uh, Geo. Geothermal? 
<laughs> yeah. Nice. There's nothing wrong with that. He didn't get a geo. Don't listen to him. In fact, don't listen to anything that guy has he, to say. He's as yeah. honest with his cars he's as he gets today. All crap. <laughs> God. Don't get me started. We're going to have a roasting match. Mm -hmm. Is it roasting out there? No. It's not too bad tonight. It's, it's, it's like 60, 62 it's degrees. It's going to your house, though. What's your uh, temperature there, Johnny? It's like 62. What's that? Something like that. Oh. Although it's 100 up in Walnut Creek. <clears throat> LA is having, has been having a, a heat wave. Most of uh, most of inland uh, California has been having a major heat wave. Uh, what? <laughs> what was that? Oh, was that your chair? What's what? Who? I didn't hear anything actually. I didn't. Oh, hear the, the, the echo. I don't know. I have no idea. So show <laughs> off that that. That uh, body you painted, Rob. Let's get this this show let's get, started. Let's get this off that body. Yeah, take your shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> body by Jake. No, don't do no. that. Oh. It's just a belly button. Yeah. <laughs> and oh. We should start. We should start talking about the front and back door again. You're definitely not coming over. I'm shipping oh. the guitar out, out to you. Oh, come on! Don't be like. It's just a belly button. <laughs> Oh man! Remember we had that conversation about the front runner. No, I don't remember anything. All right, so here it is. <clears throat> this is the 918V body that I uh, painted. Um, <clears throat> this particular guitar is one that I've been wanting to do for a pretty long time. About a year ago, I was telling Johnny and Dave, I'm like, you know, hey, I, it's probably about time we should start, you know, doing some of these backup Kramers and. Um, <clears throat> And so, you know, I didn't really jump on it at the time because I just had some other ideas and stuff like that. So I actually found this body on eBay. It was a, uh, it was like a Kramer focus body. And uh, the price was not bad on it at all. It had the, the four holes for the pickups here. And then it had, you know, the route wasn't correct. So I took my Dremel tool. It was black body. I took my Dremel tool and I Dremeled out, you know, the, the correct, um, or as close as I could get to make mm -hmm. it shaped right, and then I would fill the holes, and then I. Are you are you wearing are you wearing an invisible watch? <laughs> no, it's my tan line because <laughs> <laughs> I've been out in the sun like a lot the last few days. <laughs> so I'm um, sanded the body down, and then uh, I painted it. And um, I you know I love painting guitars, so this is as close to the striping pattern as I could pretty much come up with. And again, um, we don't know what the back looks like except to, for for some stripes. And this is kind of what I came up with. Um, this is kind of how I how I went with it, um, based off of what I saw in the pictures. And even Scott Smith didn't know, and he just said, "Dude, just wing it." Um, but it's got a real thick. It's 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 a uh, not half inch. They're, they're all the thick stripes on this guitar are are three quarter um, are three quarter inch. So it's very simple guitar to do because the big stripes are three quarter inch, and then the the, the smaller stripes are are wider also. So I just happen to have all the right tape. Got the space tape, 918V, and I uh, was able to customize uh, out of some black refle uh, blue reflective tape. I just cut out the star. The star is a little bigger, I think, than Ed's was, so I'm probably going to si downsize it a little bit, but for now, it's, it's not bad. So, yeah, she, she's, um, she's done. Um, the body's done. I'm just waiting on the neck to come in. And I'm really happy with it, except um, the one thing that I noticed I did wrong on it was the V should be moved over a little bit more. The V was further away from the eight than mine is. And unfortunately, I don't know what I was thinking when I put it on. Um, I put it on too close, but I can't move it now because I colored in the outline. So I'm kind of stuck with it for now unless I repaint it. But other than that, here she is, is 918V body. And um, this is not correct. Ed's was more of the, um, the different kind of jack. So I might swap that out. But yeah, it's cool. So here she is. This is uh, going to be the 918V, and I'm going to put the correct neck on it. Um, there's a guitar on eBay right now. <clears throat> it's actually a Kramer guitar that has the that neck. Unfortunately, I have to buy the guitar for like 350 bucks. So I'm kind of debating. That's Excuse nothing. Me. Yeah. <clears throat> well, is what is it an American Kramer? 
Yeah, we'll have to look at it. for $350 with a maple neck. It's a maple Kramer neck with a Floyd route tilt held headstock. It's exact. Um, and it's a red guitar uh, with a white pick guard. And uh, I might just snag it and, and just get it, just like I said, just for the neck. And then use the, you know, the volume pot and some other things. Yeah, and sell the body. Sell the body for the difference. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so here she is. This is it, 918V. So um, more to follow on that. Kind of pumped. I'm excited about it. So, yep. Cat Dumpling, you can find the space tape at K&E Guitars. They have, they have it for sale. You can, you can buy it from K&E Guitars. And they're great. They literally ship it out within like three days. It's, it's, it's fast. Really is great. They're they're great people. Hey, Jim Jim Nichols. Nicholas. 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 Message. We're, we're still on, right? We are. We're still here. Okay. Yeah. My uh, my. The video I was watching crashed on on this computer, so I, just, I don't know. Um, Jim Nichols. Nicholas says, "Hey now, happy Wolfgang Wednesday. Cool seeing Larry on Sunday's show." Yeah. Yeah. Larry Mitchell. Um, he says he didn't realize how awesome a player he is. Wow, he's Larry, Larry Mitchell. Larry he, is incredible. He's he's the he's the goods. Man, boy was I searching for a word. He is the goods. <laughs> and you you had a jam with him. Yeah. yeah. That's a really cool dude right there. Mm -hmm. And now and now I have his fractal audio AX8 here. So Dave, how did how did uh, he end up showing up at your place on uh, on Sunday? <clears throat> well, I picked him up at the airport on Saturday. Cool. That's all. Yeah, he uh, he came yep. in. To, he he uh, basically New York is uh, is the layover for he flew to Germany. So he figured while he was on layover in New York, he'd do a gig, invited me to go play with him, and then, you know, I took him to the airport on Monday. Nice. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Yeah, he's a great guy. <clears throat> so, and yeah, Fractal Audio sent uh, an AX-8 to, uh, to Germany for him, so he didn't have to, you know, take a lot of gear with him. So he left this here. He left a, a golden nylon string guitar here for me to play for the month. And uh, this is cool. This AX8, man, it's cool. I just have it uh, plugged right into my powered monitors, and you know, I'm learning how to use this thing. It, it's not, it's not a plug and go. You know, it's not something that simple. I he, I got a little bit of a crash course course on how to use it, but it's not easy. Definitely. Now, now when Larry sh comes over, because I know Larry spent time with you before, has he ever had the opportunity to sit down and hang out with Dennis? I mean, and play maybe oh, a little. Yeah, bit? yeah. I mean, there's well, two. I don't, I don't think they, I don't think they've played together. No, but uh, like they, you know, uh, Larry's from New York, and they do know each other. You know, everyone. Yeah. You know, uh, we all, you know, we all know each other for for years. So it's a lot of talent right there with those guys. Yeah. And yourself as well. I mean, no doubt. I mean, and, and the Nesdal residents. When you get those three guys together, that's a lot of. That's a it's lot just of a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun hanging out and, and picking and learning. You know. Yep. Absolutely. So yeah, so yeah, I'm I'm playing my fifty one fifty guitar. Best of the best. And uh, yeah, loving just loving it. I'm always loving it. But I do have one more thing to show that that. Uh, <clears throat> Is really probably the coolest thing in my arsenal, and uh, I'm so psyched to have this. Is this what uh, was coming in the mail? Yes. I can't wait to see this. Oh, it's a, a whale tail Floyd Rhodes. <laughs> it is so cool. Wow! Look at that. That yeah, thing. It is so. It's perfect. <clears throat> it's insane. Is that an original, Dave? I mean, no, no. This is this is one of those ones that uh, that uh, Jim Francis had done. That it's it's amazing. It's uh, it's hardened steel. It's exactly it's exactly the 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 bridge that's on Eddie's original fifty one fifty with the large steel plate. Yeah, 
with the large uh, steel uh, block. Uh, it's it's it is the one, and um, the uh, the donor that that uh, was uh, where these were made from is an original one uh, that uh, that Jim just sold to David Allen Wright. So now da I think David has seven or eight original ones now. But um, now, now, just explain for those guys out there, Dave. <clears throat> I mean, we know what it is, but if, show us what the whale tail actually means for those that might not understand. Well, it's <clears throat> it's it's it's. I don't have a, re, a, a an original. Well, actually, I do. I have here's a reissue for it. This one's a reissue. It's very similar. They're very similar, but the uh, the whale tail Floyd. The, the prototype whale tail, which is what this is, the, the, the base, this whole base part mm -hmm. is a bit bigger. And this part here where the fine tuners sit come out like a whale's tail. They're, it's a little wider on each side, whereas it's a little bit narrower on the newer ones. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, also, it doesn't have the spring claw on the back, so these, you know, the, the, these are... The, they're, uh, you know, oh, yeah. yep. uh, which, I, which I like them like that actually too. Yeah. The, uh, the arm is longer. It's, it comes down longer. It's, uh, it's a, a bit fatter. Um, the actual, the whole, the whole thing is thinner. It's a thinner piece of metal than on a, uh, um, on a Floyd original. But they're made so well. The the uh, bridge saddles, the saddles are different. Everything about it is different. You can actually see the tool marks, the tooling marks. Can you see the tooling marks on the saddles? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They almost look like they're ribbed. It's yeah. It's made. You can't say that. Huh? I can't call you a tool. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's made exactly the way. The original ones were made in the early 80s. So that would be exactly the same, basically, exactly the same bridge that Eddie has on his 5150. Yeah, and I have the nut. The, um, the clamps, these were also, the, the actual clamps are made like the old style clamps. And these fit on a brand new nut. So the nut, the actual nut on this is a new nut. But the clamps are bigger than they're they're taller than the old style, uh, so they'll fit on a new nut. Nice, nice. Wow, that's nuts. It is. Can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a cool little find right there. That's a cool find. You got a, you got an idea for it, Dave? Are you gonna put it on anything? Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a new guitar. Uh, and you know, and put this on, and I'm going to make a uh, a new 5150, but uh, an unrelict one with no numbers, no stars. It's going to be as if you know, as if it was a brand spanking new 1983 guitar, you know, hot off the press. Yeah, yeah. like the like the <laughs> like the photo of Eddie wearing that red suit on the on the young guitar. Yeah. So cool. I figured since I have a brand new shiny. Whale tail Floyd, it should be on a brand new shiny looking guitar. So that'll be kind of cool. It's uh, that that's that's a fifty one fifty. You don't see a lot of people doing the original one before the stars and the space tape was put on. Mm -hmm. you know, that's cool. I look forward to seeing that. Yeah. <clears throat> Some guy had uh, had I, I don't even remember who it was. I just saw the picture real quick, and then I I got a phone call, and I <clears throat> had to go for work. And I, I never got a chance to go back, but some somebody had put on Facebook the other day a 2004 era 5150 replica they did that looked really cool. I mean, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of that version of it, really, with that Strat headstock. But I'm always very impressed with people that think out of the box enough to make like the one you just talked about, Dave. You know, the later era. You know. Yeah. The, the early Frankensteins with the white pick art, you know, they're just really cool. I, I always thought that was pretty neat, people that did this. Right, stuff. right. Well, I'm going to be making two different ones. Actually, I, you know, I'm going to make the, that brand-new-looking one, and I'm also going to make a seven-tuner one. Um, nice. 
Yeah, so I'm going to have quite a few <laughs> 5150 guitars. Cat Dumpling has a, a question, and unfortunately the answer I'm going to give her, she's not going to like. Uh, she says, oh, crap, that reminds me. Hey, Dave Nesdal, do you have any cures for the Floyd Saddle Buzz? Uh, I, I can't figure out where the hell it's coming from, but it's definitely at the bridge, the G-string G especially. Uh, well, that saddle buzz, unfortunately, you're uh, at some point, the, the <clears throat> screw, what, this screw was probably tightened so much that the whole saddle bent. Uh, and when that bends, throw it away, order a new one. Just order a new saddle because there's no coming back from that. Um, there's nothing you can do about it. I've, I've done that so many times where I've over tightened those screws and it has actually bent the saddles and then you get that buzz. So it's, uh, unfortunate, but, uh, you can get a new saddle. You can, you can order the saddles from Floyd Rose. They're not terribly expensive. Uh, and they'll send it right out to you. Yep. 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 <laughs> I'm not actually listening, but yep. Yep. <laughs> but I'm yeah, that's, unfortunately, that's that's uh, that's what you have to do, Cat. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. <clears throat> what are you pouring, Johnny? Tea? Pouring tea. Uh, pouring tea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> T. Tazo. It's always tea time over here. Tea time. Tea totaling tea timer. What? Whoa. Yep. 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 <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> That's right, Vinny. Yep. Oh, that's hot. That dumpling, that makes plenty of sense. Uh, still, if you over tighten. The, it'll still bend in that little area. I know it doesn't have the little fingers that you talk about. Uh, the sides are the sides are solid walls, but yeah, if you over tighten them, they will bend. Uh, and it's not, uh, unfortunately, I don't know how how quickly Goto will will send you a new one, but um, that's where you're at on that. Interesting question on those kinds of uh, – <clears throat> on the vintage whale tail Floyds like Dave has. Um, this has come up in conversation before we've done these shows. Those little fingers underneath the, the screws that come out of the back of the Floyd, on the newer Floyds now that have those little fingers that stick up and they put the pressure on. Um, a lot of people and on some of Ed's guitars and even on my, our – Dave and our USA Wolfgangs – the one on the low E has been cut off at the factory. Yeah, it just makes it it makes the, the, the detune a little easier to work. Right. So my question is, and good, I, I guess it's a, probably a question that I've never really fully understood. Those aren't even needed on any of those. So no, why? Adam Reaver takes them off when he when he does a Floyd Rose <clears throat> upgrade. He takes that that plate and the other plate underneath that off completely. What's he Floyd Rose? He, he said that it robs the tone of the unit. Right. I don't know that I agree, but um, you don't really need it. Right. What, what is Floyd Rose's idea of the little fingers putting the tension on those screws? Why would they do that if you don't need it? I mean, is it to, to increase stability on, on, on that or, or, or to minimize the potential of the screw to move up and down? <clears throat> um, I think it had to do once, once, the, once the screws uh, – once they start to to rust, they get stuck, and yeah. those and, and you call them fingers. I call it a spring. It's a spring claw. Right. Uh, the the claw it, it helps the it helps these these things to move. It helps them, you know, like it, it like it. They move, you know. It helps them to come back up. So if you're if you're long screws start to rust they can get stuck in one spot mm -hmm. oh, so I see. That, that that claw kind of keeps them pressed up against the fine tuner mm -hmm. okay i understand that makes sense so it's more of a precautionary type yeah device yeah. so to speak yeah all right but also the 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 thing about this uh, uh the hole 
these the hole that the that the that the uh, long screw goes in on the whale tail is a tiny bit thicker. I mean, it's a tiny bit wider. You know, the, these holes. So it's not gonna it's it's not gonna rust and and you know it's gonna move freely if you can see what I'm saying. Yeah. Because there's, there's enough room for it to move freely. Mm -hmm. uh, on the newer ones, the the hole is a tiny bit tighter, so it could rust and and have a a, a, a potential to, to stick. Right. Yep. Yep. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, goodness. Lord. <clears throat> I know this is horrible. My throat is oh, it's up. horseable. <laughs> yeah, it's awful. That's the horse sound, right? It's horse got the horse sound, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That's just nasty. Oh I like I like to freak <laughs> I like to freak my wife out sometimes. Like what you just did there. I'll I'll oh. film myself doing that, but on, on the iPhone, but in slow motion. <laughs> Yeah, oh. and I'll say, "Hey, look at this!" And <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh, Ray. Uh, Raymond says, "So, Johnny, let's see what you got. Open that box up, man." Is Desiree here yet? She's not. She just texted me and she said that she's not available yet. So I just asked her if if she wants you to still wait. So just give me a second to get the answer. Tell her we've been on like three hours. Who was that? Oh. That was you, Johnny. That's me. <laughs> yes, that's right. If, if, you, uh, if you're tuning in just for this, you're going to have to wait till next week, apparently. Johnny's this was a, uh, a present. Uh, it arrived from Van Halen store out in Phoenix, Arizona, where it is currently, what, 140 degrees? Yeah, it's 7,000 degrees. Let me look it up. I was born in Phoenix. I'm, right. ac I'm actually I'm actually from there. Um, I think Alex. Alex is there right now. Alex, where are you? Take Alex with you. Report. <laughs> That's pretty darn funny. Is that is that still a thing? That I is. forgot about that. Take Alex with you. <laughs> um. So anyway. This uh, arrived in the mail today when I when I ran into who I think was Jerry Springer. Um, anybody want to guess what this might be? We'll take some guesses. It's 118 in Phoenix right now. Wow, Alber Alberto 5150 is in is in Tucson. It's 106 right now. That's my horse singing voice. Yeah. So this arrived today, and uh, anybody want to guess what this is? Van Halen striped striped I, underwear. I don't. I don't think it's a pair of those flip flops. <laughs> striped, in. It's a striped thong. Do they make those? <laughs> I I remember on the on the Carnal Knowledge tour, they had a thong in the front and it said spanked. Yeah. Remember yeah. those? Anybody buy those? I didn't. I should have. Okay, I just got the okay. You can open it. What? Okay, well, let's take some guesses. Anybody want to guess what this might be? I don't know what it is, although I kind of do. Do you know what this is, Rob? I think it's 2004 Eddie Van Halen Poopy. What the? I don't know I, what I don't even I, know what I that think, means. <laughs> that was my guess too, Johnny. That was my guess too. So. I I think it's like you know when he's when he, you know it's sweat from from his shorts. Oh, like the back of the Frankenstrat, you know the Eddie Van Halen sweat for the pink and blue. Yep, the fogging. <clears throat> Did you just say oh fogging? <laughs> fogging, <laughs> yeah. From him fogging. All right, Paul. Hey, Paul, take it easy. Oh. And who is he fogging? People are getting restless here. All right, let's see what this is. This was a, a gift. 
Whoa, look at the comments uh, going in here. Holy mackerel. Huh? <clears throat> 2017 po Pokemon calendar. Oh, Douglas Bedora said there would be ferals, but that would be a good that would be good, but not from the Van Allen store. Grommets, yeah. Grommets? It, it would Grommets? be cool if they were grommets, but they they're not. <laughs> Raymond says a calendar of Rob. <clears throat> <laughs> Rob's fireman calendar. Yeah. That's just really on. That's that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. I, I used to, we we used to live in this town called uh, Crockett, Crockett, California. Oh, this is cool! Wow, look at this. Uh, I just got a sneak peek. Um, we used to live in, in this town, and uh, <clears throat> my wife would pull into the gas station. And and they would every time she she pulled in there they would give her the town's fireman calendar. <laughs> I never got one. Well, you don't look like your wife. Oh, okay. Look at this. Wow. What does this say? Very cool. Thank you, Desiree. Thank you very much. <clears throat> this is from Desiree and Dave. Here we go. Can you see it? Here it is. There it is. Oh, look at, look, at look at that. Happy birthday, Johnny. Look at that. I have those on my car. You have one of these? I have on front and the back of my car. You can't say that. Look at that. Wow, thank you very much. Desiree, Dave, Rob, Van Halen store, everybody. That's awesome. It is pretty awesome. Those are cool. It's very cool. I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to put that on. They look really cool on a vehicle, though. They really do. I love them on mine. Uh huh. Yep. Now, did they give you one or two? Did they Did they give you one or did they give you two? One for each license plate. Well, how many did you order? I don't know. I, I ordered a dozen of them. Did you get all a dozen of them for all your cars? Uh, I got this, and then I got, a, I got a free license plate for the front. <laughs> yeah, and a black Sharpie. And I, I will say they're they're really cool. They 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 weather really well. Mine have made it through two winters and uh, eight seasons technically, nice. and they still hold up really well. <clears throat> Blank palette, uh, you're you're in luck. Johnny actually <clears throat> bought himself a car. That's why we got the license plate cover. There we go. You're off the hook, Blank palette. You don't have there, to. Get there, there we go. There it is. Right there. I don't know if you can even see this. Nice. Got my new front license plate here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll look great on my Geo. Hey, Timothy Pierce. Very cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. That's that's awesome. Glad you like it. Now what? I don't know. Are you, are yep. you good? <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. we're just we're just gonna do an hour? No. But I have something Chris, Chris just got here though. Hey Chris. Chris who? Chris uh <clears throat> Hegestead? Hegestead. Hegestead. You guys wanna see something really cool that I made the other day? As Johnny long as, as long as it's got clothing on. <laughs> it okay. just stood up. My E V eight sign. It's, did, uh, is that paint or is that like sharpie? Uh, paint. I painted it. Here's. Oops. I gotta do this right here. Here's my VH metal sign, and uh, I I did made that all my. I made that myself. Uh, I took a piece of cardboard, and I um, striped the cardboard, and then I printed off on the computer the EVH black circle, cut it out, glued it on, and I laminated the whole thing. So it's really. Um, well, it came out pretty cool, so it uh, kind of you know goes good on the Van Halen wall, so to speak. You know, cool. It's not as nice as Dave's because it's not official, but I was. I'm like, you know, that I could use an EV8 sign. And wow. Finding those signs are so hard to, you know, they're almost incredible to find. It, it looks just like the the stickers. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. The official stickers. <laughs> yep. Yeah, those are cool. I, I just thought it would look good above the, you know, the guitar wall next to the V8. So I moved a few things around in here because my red Wolfgang is going to be coming back soon. Um, my red EV8. So you, that hasn't come back yet. No, the guy's slow as death, but he does a great oh, job. God, Whoa, like who, who's, my, uh, your, who's your tech? That guy needs someone needs to light a fire on his rear end. I know, I know. Excuse me, but the guy does amazing work, so it's so I don't mind waiting. But yeah, that's I do. I yeah, well, I'm, with <laughs> yeah well, I'm not a big fan of waiting, but um, so I got a spot for uh, that guitar, and then when I, uh, in a week or so, when I get out to see Dave, I'll have my black and uh, white over there. Then I'll be pretty much all caught up, and then. The only other guitar that'll be joining the um, the ranks, it'll be the nine one eight V. You know, hopefully within the next next couple of months. I'm not I'm not in a massive rush to to, to finish that. Um, once I get the neck, I will be. Um, but um, <clears throat> yeah, mm -hmm. so I thought the sign was pretty cool. I mean, I've always wanted one of those signs ever since I saw Dave's. You know, it just looks great. You know, the striped sign. I'll sell mine. <clears throat> Anyone wants it, like three grand, I'll sell it. It's worth it because go find one. I dare you. Yeah. You got to have an inside uh, inside source to get them. And even then, they're not easy to get. Uh -huh. Timothy Pierce says, Johnny Bean, Dave Nesdal, and Rob, if you, haven't seen, if you haven't had the chance to see Rat, you need to see them. Just saw them on Friday. Warren was amazing. I saw Rat in 1987 when they were good. I saw a rat uh, just uh, the other day under my car, or what was left of one. Oh. <laughs> Thanks to these cats. Uh, was that Stephen Piercy? It was. It was horrible. It was. Uh. Actually, it was probably Bobby Blotzer because he's no longer in the band. I saw a rat back in the day too, and uh, I haven't. I didn't see him recently, but uh, yeah, they were. Uh, they were a massive. Uh, they were an amazing band, and 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 yeah. more. And Warren is still crazy good. He's still yeah. one of my favorites. Warren, Great. he doesn't get – that guy just does not get bad. He's good. <laughs> just – I mean, just watching him play the opening riff to lay it down is just insane, you know? <clears throat> yep. 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 So how's, how's your mom doing, Dave? How's your whole family? <laughs> it, it's good. She's good. My mom is all right. Everyone's uh, everyone's doing okay. Good deal. How's my girl Brandy? She's uh, hot. Yeah, you got the AC cranking? AC's nope. No, it's actually very, very cool and calm in in, in the house. Yeah, uh, I think the AC is on in my bedroom, but it's cool enough in here where it's it's good. <clears throat> yeah, it's like me. I, I don't have the AC going downstairs today. I have the AC in my bedroom just because I like it cool when I sleep. But other than that, you know. Steve Anderson. Hey, Johnny, Dave, and Rob. How are you, Steve? <clears throat> hey, Steve. Hey, man. Let me guess. How are you? The first thing he said is, sorry, I'm late. <laughs> yeah, we're just closing up shop here. So. Mm -hmm. At least no, he's kidding. just kidding. <laughs> He's just joshing. I am. Oh, there I am. Um, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so what else? What do we got? How's the uh, shark coming along, Dave? <clears throat> it's uh, it's white. It's, it's probably going to be silver this weekend, I would imagine. Yeah, if anybody that's been watching on VH Links, the progress, uh, it's looking really cool. It's going to be uh, second. I saw that. Yeah, I, I I saw that. I, it was uh, earlier today or yesterday. I um, oh um, and Dave, who's not a member over there, has no idea what we're talking. Yeah, I guess I I guess the, the there are pictures of of my guitar and the and its sister guitar on the links. Yeah, and it's basically the topic of it's it's got its own thread because everybody's you know Nick did a uh, did a really good job of uh, thwarting the silver and maroon versus the white and maroon you know and and, and made of some really good valid points I mean, you can see the white underneath the silver so yeah yes, the guitar was yeah. white but it had i will color. tell you i will tell you that that these two replicas are going to be probably the closest to the original that anyone is ever going to see 
I mean, uh, even right down to tutor incidents and everything. It's incredible. Well, Nick's, Nick's especially, like Nick, he went, yeah, his the tuning pegs on his guitar, he did the double tabs. You know, he went and found double tab uh, gold and double tab chrome um, shallow tuners. I didn't go so crazy to get double tabs, but I made sure that my gold tuners had the bigger buttons, you know, and uh, – it just it's it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, how mine is, these are going to be. Mine isn't like that. I mean, mine. You know, even mine doesn't have the bigger buttons on. I mean, I mean, that's his is his is going to be absolutely insane. Yeah, the only thing that I didn't do to mine uh, is I didn't put the harmonica bridge on it because I don't like the way it looks. So everything else on my guitar is going to look as if <laughs> as the guitar looks today, as the original guitar looks today. Other than that harmonica bridge. Yeah. You have on yours, yeah. But it's also going to yep. be—it's also yep. going to be super shiny. I mean, it's not going to—you're not going to see any uh, yep. any or very little wood grain because uh, on Eddie's there's so much paint on it, and his started off as an Ibanez, you know, that was that that had clear on it to begin with. So on his guitar, you're not unless it's a relic area, you're not going to see wood grain on the original one. So there's a ton of wood grain filler, and it's going to look, you know, you're not going to see any wood grain on it at all. Yep. Yep. Uh, huh? Wasn't somebody saying, Rob, you, you would know this. Somebody, somebody's in that thread. I, I just happened to look at it earlier today or yesterday or sometime. Um, and somebody was saying that... The, the majority of, of the stripes on it are gray. They're silver, not gray. Or silver. Yeah. Silver. They're, so, all, in but, fact, but, they're but, all silver. There's just some white peeking through on them. Well, there's there's there was like one there was like one stripe yeah. that's white. Right in here. Right in here, actually. Uh, actually, yeah, it's in this area here. Somebody's ripped what? off. Like that stripe there is actually white. Yeah, well, it's it, it this is what oh, the stripe God. looked like at one time in the old days. And now Part of that stripe in another spot has been ripped off to the white. You can see the white underneath it. Mine's just silver because this isn't white underneath. This is just silver and then maroon. But on the real one, the one, the picture where Chip's holding it in 5150s, you can see a portion of, of, of probably about an inch and a half portion of that stripe has been ripped off. And you can see the white underneath it. So there's proof right there that, yeah, the guitar is white underneath, but it's silver on top. And, and like Nick points out, <clears throat> you know, People are like, whoa, why is, you know, why in some pictures, you know, I, I keep thinking it's silver, and then all of a sudden I see pictures like, ah, no, it's not, it's white. It's because the reflectiveness of the silver paint in certain lighting conditions, yeah, it looks white. Right. When you go in a very low, you know, low ambient lighting environment, you can see the, you know, it, it's, it's, like, like, it's like a reflective silver sticker. You know, it's no, I mean, quite frankly, it's no different than this. Well, I mean, it's a little different, but it's no different than this. You know, your 5150 stickers, either silver reflective stickers, but in certain lighting conditions, they're going to look white. Yeah, right there. Look white. Right. That looks white. White, right there. Yeah. So it's exactly right. the same thing. White? Right. Yeah. What? You have a, you have a lot, of, lot of instruments hanging off that thing. Yeah, I know. So there's yeah. a lot of, like, uh, dental dental instruments hanging off that yeah we got the we got the 04 hardware here and then we have the 98 hardware here and uh you know cool guitar i love this guitar i'm bringing this one out to show you dave you gotta check this thing out it's so cool i don't know dave. if i have room for that thing you might have to take some of that stuff off of it <laughs> i can't tell you how many facebook um messages i've got from people that aren't really you know the 9804 educated Fans. Yeah, and they're like, "What's all that crap all over your guitar?" And I'm, I'm just like, "Oh gosh, you know." I mean, because if you're not, I mean, even people that saw the tour, you know, back in those days, that you know, if they're not watching live, you know, you know, uh, recordings, they're they're not going to remember all that garbage all over the thing, you know. <clears throat> so, but it's pretty cool. I love that guitar, and I was just playing it this morning when I got up before I went down to work out. Of, you know, I don't even mess around with a sustainer that much anymore, to be honest with you. I mean, the first couple of weeks I had it, I, you know, I, I abused the heck out of it. 
And now I just, um, I'll use it once in a while. I'll tweak it on for a harmonic or something here or there. But <clears throat> I just love how that guitar plays. I mean, the neck on that thing is just insane. And it just feels amazing. That's, that's one of those rare PV Wolfgang, you know, special deluxe models that just, you know, like Dave's green one, you know, it's, they're just, they're just one of those rare gems that just feel amazing, you know? Yeah. Well, I, yeah, my green, my green Wolfgang is, it's really special. I, I mean, yeah. sustainer or no sustainer, that particular guitar is just, it's so good. It is just so good. I remember playing it when I was at your place last time. I was like, wow, it's like this had that special feel to it, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> did, you, did you see that, that, that show that I posted? Yes, under the, I, the I was trying to watch some of it, uh, but it was so late at night that I just didn't finish watching it, but it was very cool. And it happened to be one of the better shows on that tour. Uh, Eddie played really well. You know, for, for, for that tour, he played really well. I mean, uh, for today's standards or for Eddie Van Halen's standards, it still wasn't fantastic, but for that tour, that was, really, that was a good night for him. Which one are we talking about? I didn't see this. Which, which show was this? Um, I don't remember what what show it was, but he was using the green uh, Wolfgang. The green the green guitar is his main guitar. Yeah, and, and then later on, like the end of the night, he pulls out the uh, the the other PV. The uh, oh, the Sunbird, the tobacco, the tobacco. Yeah. Yes. Uh, is the, I think that's the um, and I'm then watching that. It's a later. It's a later uh, show, I think, because uh, because the uh, he's using one of the art series guitars for. Up for, for breakfast. Up for, up for breakfast. Yeah, I yeah. just watched that show. I have the video. I was watching that one, and it's like uh, right when they go into right now, he pulls, he puts the green one away and plays the rest of the show with the tobacco. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. Yep. Um, or no, no, no. Ain't, ain't talking about love. Ain't talking about love. Starts yep. huh? What? Timothy Pierce. Timothy says he recorded a video from Warren's, as in Warren Demartini, side of the stage. He was at a, a rat show. Um, <clears throat> this was this was a big one from the bucket list. He says, "Very cool, man." Yeah, yeah, it is very That's cool. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, he says he, he. I do not know if I can post it online. Um, any advice for sharing video? Yeah, uh, if you have a YouTube account. You can you can post it to to YouTube. Um, you, if you have a Facebook account, you can post it to your your Facebook page. Um, but it sounds it sounds like you want to share it with people. Um, you can post it to your Facebook and then just make it a public post. That way, everybody can see it. You know, because on Facebook you can make your posts private, public, certain people. You know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like all of my posts on Facebook, it's everybody except Dave Nesdall. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, Johnny, you haven't posted for a while. Everybody else is like, man, stop spamming us. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Dave. Come on, don't burp. I'm just joking. Or far. You give me Ajita. Raymond Urbina says... Do you guys think that the EVH Wolfgangs are that much more superior than the PV Wolfgangs? I own a couple PVs and played the Fenders, but wasn't that blown away. Uh, well, you know, Ray, that's it's it's really subjective. You know, everyone ha thinks different things. Uh, I personally, uh, it depends on the guitar you have. I mean, I, I love the new guitars, the 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 Fender version. The American version is is killer. It's absolutely killer, as Johnny says. It's solid, but uh, a couple of my PVs are fantastic as well. You know, I have uh, them all. Five. I have five <laughs> PV Wolfgangs and four EVH Wolfgangs, and I would say three of my PVs are the most killer guitars I've ever played. Uh, I don't know. They're just, you know, they're all really good. You can get great ones, you know. They're all they're all great. Yeah, they're all I mean they're, they're all they're all official. Well, I don't know about all your guitars, but Yeah, they are. But but the PVs, the EVH guitars, the Music Mans, they're all official Edward Van Halen guitars. 
So they're all great. They're all amazing, no matter <laughs> what. Um, what was the question? <laughs> But he, but as far he, as he doesn't know, he doesn't know if the EVH is is that much better than the PV. He doesn't, you know, he he doesn't think that it's that it's you know way better than the PV. Well, I would answer that question kind of in, in, a, in a subjective standpoint, as kind of Dave did as well. I mean, I I I own well right now I own two EVH Fender guitars and I own two PV Wolfgang guitars and I've owned many more. PVs over the years. Um, I've owned, uh, you know, many Music Man's EVHs. I own one Music Man EVH now. Um, and I've kind of <clears throat> weeded my collection down to just, you know, right now I have two PV Wolfgangs and two EVHs and a Music Man. And the reason I have only those is because these particular, the one I showed you, the, the, the uh, tobacco with a sustainer and then this purple one, these are probably two of the most incredibly awesome PVs I've ever played. In my life um, and they were hand selected from a, a really good friend of ours um, that's why I have them um, and they play phenomenal they, they play phenomenal my Ernie Ball music man EVH plays phenomenal and so do these here but I like I said I would I've played many PV Wolfgangs over the years that are great playing guitars but they just don't have that magic to them when you pick it up you know and, 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 and you hit a chord or you you, you noodle on the strings and every once in a while, you come along one of them or the EVHs or whatever, uh, music bands that just have that magic to them. Um, to, my, <clears throat> to my hands, to my playing, to my taste, to my opinion, I would say that the probably a, a larger number of the EVH Fenders that I've played seem to be more consistently golden guitars like that than the PVs or the music bands. They're all great guitars, but it seems to be a little bit, for me, a little bit more hit or miss on the PVs and the Music Mans to find that rare gem like the ones that Dave and I and Johnny have, whereas the EVH Fenders seem to be a little more consistent when, on the necks and the playability. That's my opinion, nothing more. No, I agree with you. <clears throat> And that's also why I would never sell, you know, I, I don't, I would say never say never, but I don't plan on ever selling my music man, my two PVs or my two EVHs. And, you know, unless I'm in a position where I have to, because I've, I've, I've over all these years of playing guitar and collecting and selling guitars and buying them and building them and collecting them. I've been lucky enough with the signature guitars to be able to finally say, okay, I have, you know, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five signature guitars now that are just five of those rare gems, you know what I mean? <clears throat> so I'm very blessed. Yeah, Johnny, how was your wolf? The, here's the other thing real quick before Johnny <clears throat> opens his big mouth. Um, <laughs> you know, the longer you collect, the, the, the more you get a sense of what is a good guitar when you buy exactly. it. Exactly. You, you'll put one in your hands and you'll be able to feel, eh, that it just doesn't have it, you know, or, or you'll feel like, oh, my God, I, I can't live without this guitar. Mm -hmm. You know, the more you play, the more guitars you play, uh, the more you get that understanding and you, you just you just know which is a good one and which is not, you know. Um, it, I have, I have a, a knack for finding good guitars. Mm. I don't just buy every guitar I see because, you know, chances are it's not going to be a great guitar you know every guitar you see is not a great guitar mm -hmm. but the ones that i have are really good you know you just you if you if you, you find a knack you get a knack of of knowing what a good guitar is after a while and i still remember what dave said um he said it in a few different hangouts that we've done over the years um <clears throat> and i've never been lucky enough to pick up and actually be able to play one of Edward Van Halen's guitars, but anybody that you ask that's actually had the opportunity to play Edward's guitar, Dave being one of them, um, actually with a Purple Wolfgang, Eddie's 98 Purple Wolfgang, not to take the words out of his mouth, but he said it just picked it up and it was like magic, absolute magic. Mm -hmm. and to find a guitar that, nevertheless, Edward Van Halen's guitar, your own or one you find, like Dave said, you've been playing long enough, and you, you you know how you like your action setup. You know how you like, you know how you play. You know how your hands respond, how your body responds, how your what your play style is. 
you know, like like Dave, I mean, I've been playing long enough where I can pick up a guitar and go, ah, this is a great guitar, but it just for whatever reason, it's not for me. And then someone else can pick it up and go, whoa, this is amazing, and they love it, and they might not like one of my guitars. It's, it's a very, um, what'd you say, Dave, like subjective type? Personalized. Of, it's personal. a personalized thing. Yeah. Yep. 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 All right, John. Yep. You want to you wanna weigh in now? I wasn't even here. What are you guys talking about? I asked you a quick question. I said, "What? how was the playability? We all know you weren't a big fan of the necks of the Wolfgang, but your PV Wolfgang, how was the playability of that guitar? What did you When you had that, what did you think of it? It was great. Played great. They're all amazing guitars. The Music Mans, the PVs, the EVHs. Um, but as far as, as myself, you know, I, I always said, for some reason... The, the PV neck, I couldn't switch from one guitar or back, you know, with that guitar. I always had to stick to that one guitar. I don't know why. Something about that, the neck shape. It was just so different from everything else. Yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> Did so, you hear me? <laughs> you could start a gig with that guitar, but as long as you stayed with it, you were fine. Or you, or, or, but you couldn't. You couldn't start with it and switch to something else or start with that and then switch to something else, right? It was that well, what threw you off? Well, it's, it's not that I couldn't. I mean, I, you can, but... Uh, it just threw you for a loop. I just saw a chicken fly by. You still have all those birds living in your driveway and the cats are raising heck with them? Oh, the, the, the turkeys? The family oh. of turkeys? Um, I thought they were peacocks. No, they're turkeys. <laughs> they're turkeys. No, they're not. Um, and I don't know if, if you heard, I was outside with my neighbor. We were standing outside the garage, and a, a, a coyote ran right past us. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, uh, what am I trying to say here? I'm like, I'm trying to share this video at the same time. Pris, are you watching us? Could you tweet this video out, please? I'll retweet you. I'm looking at it right here. There it is. That's us right there. It just needs to be tweeted out. Tweet, 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 tweet. Yeah. Oh, there I am. Um, anyway. Yep. The, the PVs, the PV Wolfgangs, they're all amazing, all of them. Um, what was the question? The necks? No. Well, no, just, no, just the actual, like, actual... Um, uh, love of the guitar how it felt as a whole like you know he uh, loved it so much he gave it to michael smith yeah I know. <laughs> uh, wow well johnny's a big fan of the evh guitar necks he loves those necks loves them the the, the ev the evh <laughs> that one back there yeah <laughs> it's like this guitar is at a protest or something look at this i know um, <laughs> <laughs> it's 5150 yeah yeah. <laughs> I was listening to uh, to KFI yesterday. That's the Los Angeles, the station I listen to every night. Um, once we're done with this, I'll 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 tune into the Tim Conway Jr. show on KFI. Um, they do the traffic down in LA every night, and well, every you know, twenty minutes, whatever. And they actually said there was a certain stretch of freeway. There was a fifty one fifty situation. Is what they said. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning there was somebody running down the street. Um, uh, anyway, yeah. The EVH Wolfgang guitars. Those necks, those are my favorite necks out of every neck. Every neck there is. That's the neck right there. That's it. And also, what, what, what side of the car should I put this on? The front or the back? Probably the back. Oh, the front? All right. She put huh? it over the rear view mirror. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking the back. Yes. Yes. Bozik agrees 100%. Yep. Yep. Bozik no. Yeah, that neck. Bozik knows that neck. Yep. Thank you again, Bozik. I love it. Yep. All right, Dave's got his 5150 out, so I guess I had to go pull mine out too. So. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Raymond, we have uh, roughly 50 people uh, tonight. Yep. It says 48 right now. 49 right there. Yeah. Fluctuates in between. Uh, Flatulates? If, 
between 51 and 50. Mm-hmm. And there's no, uh, it's the truth. I know. It's a magic number. It's a magic number. And if you don't believe me, look at the video. You'll see it. Yes. Thank you for the thumbs ups. 30 thumbs ups. Man. Yeah. I had my birthday a few days ago. And it's great to be 30. Let me tell you. It's awesome. Why is it? When people say the neck plays like butter, what does that mean? Because butter seems like it could be really sloppy to me to play with. <laughs> it's smooth. Yeah. Like I butter. Know, I know, like I butter. I know. I'm just being like butter. 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 butter, butter, butter. <laughs> like, like, that's the way, right. that's the way Long Island, Long Island women say, like butter. Say, I can't believe it's not butter. You can't believe it's not butter. And then say spray. I don't know. All right, Steve Anderson. Huh? We got we <laughs> We have any Fabio fans in the house? Fabio. Uh how many eggs today? Ah, more than that. It was uh one, two, three, like six. Are you guessing now? I'm guessing, but it, it took me two hands. Two hands to guess? <laughs> to, 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 to hold them. <laughs> I'm talking about eggs. Um. <laughs> yes. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you very much. Six eggs, Steve. That's right. I can't wait to see your journal, man. I think Steve, I think he's keeping a journal of all the eggs I get every every other day. Paul Glover wants to hear more Buford T Justice. I want a Diablo sandwich and a Dr. Pepper and make it fast. I'm in a goddamn hurry. How about that one? <laughs> a jelly donut to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bottle of anything? Bottle of anything and a jelly donut to go. Glazed donut. Glazed donut. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I was watching something on TV the other day, and they had on uh, David, the Beavis and Butthead episode where um, David Lee Roth was <laughs> they were doing the video for Just Like Paradise. And it uh, start, start, starts out, and he's like on the mountain and everything. And you can hear Beavis and Butthead, it's like total silence. And then you hear him, <laughs> run, dance, fat boy, dance. He says, or something like so funny. <laughs> Yeah, paradise sucks. <laughs> Goodness. Wow. So glad to have you here, Rob. That show is still on? <laughs> no, 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 no. It was a it was a it was a replay of like on some like, you know, old shows or whatever, and they were playing that version of the Beavis and Butthead when they were doing the Roth video. It was just so funny. I remember seeing that when it was out, that particular episode. <laughs> that that's the show that destroyed Winger. Oh, really? I didn't know that. <laughs> All right, Paul Glover, one more. Look, Daddy, an alligator. That reminds me, son. I got to go home and call your mama. <laughs> uh, never mind. Come on, it's smoking a bandit. That's just the, it, I know what you're talking about. Smoking a bandit rocks. That's all I got to tell you. I never saw it. Oh, dude, it's just anything with Jackie Gleason in it is just ridiculous. It's so funny. I yeah. I remember I remember the toy. That was funny too. I My that. dominoes just went down. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> U.S. That's U.S. <laughs> <laughs> guy was amazing. He was too. Oh my god! <laughs> you did that on purpose. You going away to your grave? <laughs> All right, now I'm on a kick. I gotta go. You guys good? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, are you good? What is it? It's six thirty. Six twenty-seven. <clears throat> no, we got a little so, time. We got more time. Light out. Still light out here? Light out. Mm -hmm. Light out. Light out. Mm -hmm. 
Steve Anderson, Rob, did you see the movie Creed? Oh yeah, I um, <clears throat> yeah, that, that was cool. I like that. It was interesting how they made Stallone look. Um, <clears throat> they, they, I mean, they 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 aged him for that movie, especially the part where he came down sick. It was pretty interesting. Um, yeah, I forget the name of the, what what's that actor's name? He played in Friday Night Lights. Uh, and he was he was Creed's grandson. Uh, what's his name? Some Johnson, I think. He's a great actor. The kid did a really good job. Ron. <laughs> Ron Johnson. Your cousin. Rob, well, where can I find a miniature Les Paul like yours, Chris? Um, <clears throat> Sell him that one. Michael B. Jordan. Yes, that's who it was. It was Michael B. Jordan. Thank you. Um, Bozik. Yeah, Bozik. Yeah, thank you. That's who it was. He did a great job. Mine is um, <clears throat> mine is just a Lotus guitar. It's a Lotus travel guitar that I got maybe five or six years ago, something like that. And when it came in, it didn't have, I don't know if you guys can see it in the back. You can kind of see it. Um, it, it, it had dot inlay, so those are fret uh, uh, block inlay stickers. I put two different pickups in it, um, you know, the, uh, the chrome pickups. I cut my own little pick guard for it. I uh, took out two knobs to make it two knobs, so took away two and filled them with and painted them with these little wooden bungs, and then um, put the v what? You can't, you can't say that. Man. <laughs> I know. I, I knew that was going to come up. <laughs> and then, um, put the V8 sticker on the headstock and uh, a couple eyelets, and there's the little guitar, and it, it's a pretty good little replica. But I mean, not bad for fifty, you know, uh, seventy-five dollar guitar. Um, and you know, uh, probably hundred bucks, and maybe two three hours of work, and that was about it. So yeah, it's if you can find one of those Lotus guitars, you just have a little bit of work to do, and you can make it look pretty cool. Or you can call <laughs> Dave Pestelet and order one. We'll exactly. One. Do they? Do, actually, that's a good question. Um, I'm sure the guy still has the the uh, the plans. I, I'm sure he'll just build you one if you give him enough money. He'll build you one. It does. You know, it, it's. I don't think I don't think Eddie has a patent on those. Yeah, it's the tiny Les Paul. Eddie has what? Two of them? He got two of them, didn't he? Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. I was gonna show you guys a picture. Oh, Desert Desert Ray is here. Awesome. I, I gotta re I gotta re box that thing. No, you don't. Desert Ray, don't look at this. Where is it? Oh, here we go again. Yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> I'm kind of anxious to show you this 5150, Dave. I really am dying to show you this. Um, check it out. I saw Pete's up close. Yeah. Pete's what? <laughs> Pete's um, pizza. Desiree, check it, check it out. Look at this. Check it out. I'm, I'm gonna un uh, re unbox this. Oh wow! Look at this. Oh man, Desiree, thank you so much. Wasn't she here the whole time? No. Thank you. Thank you. It, it'll fit my. Uh... You got the wrong size though. My license plate is too small. <laughs> Don't listen to anything he says. Yeah, I've right. got. You know, I've got a tiny car. I've got one of those mini, uh, <laughs> mini geos. This is my license plate. That's only because he's tiny. <laughs> huh? I was going to show you guys a picture, actually. I was going to show you something. <laughs> Check this out. I don't know if you guys knew. I don't know if you guys knew this. I just happened to I just happened to come across this last night. Um couple things here. Interesting. Interesting things. You 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 guys will like this. Hey, RMG471 clown car. That's right. I have a clown car. <laughs> it fits up to a thousand. It fits up to Johnny Bean. I can barely fit in it. All right, I'll show you guys this picture. Both of you guys, tell me two things you notice about this picture. <clears throat> two, two things that two things that uh, 
Actually, you can't even see it. Can you can you notice anything? Uh, <laughs> no, and and it went. Why don't you raise the photo a little bit? Yeah, it's raise too hard. Photo. To raise the photo. Raise it. It is raised. <laughs> um. There's no eye hook on that on that guitar on that guitar strap. Okay, there's one. There's one. There's no eye hook on the guitar. You're too blurry. I can't see. I know. I know. It's too blurry. All right. See, there's no eye hook. Um, and, and it's not a Van Halen strap either. It's not. Doesn't look like it. No, it is. Oh, okay. Anyway, I know you. The thing's blurry. Here, here. This is the other thing. There's no grommets. Right there. What? Oh, number two. It says number two right on there. it. Can you see that? Yeah, number oh, yeah. two. What? Blurry. Yeah, it says number two on the back of the headstock. Okay. Which you can't even see. Right. So, I mean, was does that mean that that there was a big number two on the body? No. <laughs> Echo. Then what does it mean, Johnny? What does it all mean? It means it was his number two guitar. No, it was it was the um, <clears throat> it was it was the uh, the, the uh, let's see if I can find a front <laughs> front. That looked like it was oh seven, right? Yeah. So it was probably either the sunburst or the white one. Sunburst. Mm -hmm. it, it was the sunburst one. Yeah. Anyway, I thought that was cool. I just happened to see that. And you can't see it. I don't know. No, you can see. You can just barely see it. Sort no, of. Yeah, I can see it right there. Come on. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There it is. It's great. Number two. There yeah, right I'll there. Look. Right there. There it is. You can kind of see it. It says, awesome. it says number two on the back. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I thought you guys would like that, even though that was... Thanks. We got two extra thumbs down because of that, Johnny. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It's a real, real good, real good quality show. Well, so, somebody, uh, <laughs> some somebody made a uh, a meme and they tagged a bunch of us in it. Uh huh. And it, it was about uh, Bigsby's and Floyd Roses. Right. Were you guys tagged in that? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. And and I and I had said uh, I I posted a picture of this Wolfgang and I said I would play that guitar. Wolfgang well, with, a, with the Bigsby. A, a relic, yeah, a relic right Wolfgang with a Bigsby on it. I think Dennis might even play that guitar. It's awesome. What? Yeah, yeah Dennis, yeah. I can hear you. Dennis, I think Dennis would play that guitar for a minute anyway. It's a Dennis, Wolf, you love Bigsby's, huh? It's a, it's a Wolfgang custom mm -hmm. with a Bigsby on it. So basically, it's a Les Paul with a Bigsby. Oh, yeah? Yeah. In a Wolfgang body shape. Oh. Hi, Dennis. Hey. What's up, Dennis? How you doing? What's going on? What's up, man? What, are you from the south there? Huh? Southwest. What's that guitar to your left, Johnny, in the chair next to you? Is that a headstock? What? To your left. What's that? Yeah, right, right, like right there. This one? Yeah. This? Yeah. Oh, that's your Kramer. It's just, it's just the Kramer neck. Oh. Yeah, it's just the neck. <clears throat> I've got the neck. I've got the necks just just sitting here. Nice. That one, and then, and then this one. You need Which two one? tags. Which one yeah. is that? Oh, yeah. The, the EVH. Thanks to Bozik. Yeah, Bozik gave this to me. Yeah, it's the, the EVH from, from the red, black, and white. <clears throat> yeah. Very cool. I like that Kramer neck, too. That's cool. Oh, it's great. <clears throat> I have a clown car? You said you did. Mm hmm. I, well, I'm, I'm a clown. Come on. Hey, Desiree, I did answer your text today, by the way. 
I never got a response, so. <clears throat> Bazik, he needs grommets for those. Don't even say the word grommet in front of Johnny B. He just, he starts to cry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I need grommets. Yeah, need them. You know, that's right. Desiree actually sent me a photo of a whole box, like of 150 grommets. She wanted to know if any of them were like were the right ones, like from a from a, a hardware store. I said none of them. <laughs> it was a box filled, like literally 150 of them. Of the all same one. Sizes. They were all different ones, all different oh. sizes, but they were rubber as well. They're not. They they weren't correct. But she tried for you. She's like, "Is this right? Can I send this to Johnny?" I'm like, "No. You can send it to him, but it isn't going to do him a bit of good." Yeah, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've I've got one. I've got one which which does work. I've got four on that guitar. And I I messaged the guy back, and I don't think he ever wrote me back. The guy that sent these to me. If I had three more of, of this one, I would have. Why don't you go to your local hardware store with that with that grom and say? I hey. did. I did. And. Mm -mm. It's not there. Yeah, it's 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 such a specialty thing. I mean, it's, it's almost frustrating. Well, how about why don't you uh, look <laughs> almost at Stu look at Stu Mac? <laughs> Actually, it's not a bad idea. Have you have you heard? Have you seen anything from Stu Mac, John? Have you checked that? No, no. <clears throat> that might be a pretty good bet. There you go. Well, mm -hmm. speaking of Stu Mac. Here's a catalog right here, the latest of the race. Let me see if I can That's find great. it. Oh, awesome. <clears throat> Let me see. Dave needs that to set his computer on. No, I don't. I need a. I need a, a, at least 12 inches upward. <laughs> to, to, to raise my computer, that is. Huh? Does the raise like what? Twelve inches. Yeah. What are you? <laughs> All right. So they don't have anything under. So said need. Mouth shut. You didn't, say, you didn't say wanted. Well, what could I look under, Dave? They don't have it under grommets or ferrules. F e r r u l s. <clears throat> no, nothing to that either. Um, neck screws and. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Who knows? Who cares? I don't need him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Plain and simple. I don't need it, so I don't care. <laughs> Lloyd Rose. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's for, for this one particular uh, body, the stealth body that I have, there, there's almost no point to, to that one. Because I, I pulled the, uh, I know. I know. the, the, the bridge from it. You know? <clears throat> so I have, I have to get a bridge, you know, for it as well. And that... I'll, 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 I'll most likely never find those, uh, those studs. Be right back. Come on, Brian. Let's go. What are you doing? Come on. Oh, let's see. Uh, student next group. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. <clears throat> Ferals, here we go. Here we go. They have them right here <clears throat> for bolting a neck onto a contoured solid body when a flat neck attachment plate is impractical. Ferals, chrome black gold. Um, and it's got the, uh, it's got three different sizes. So I have them right here. I just don't know. That's them. Hmm. 
That's them right there. I just don't know which ones they would be, they would need. Um, <clears throat> they're three different sizes? <coughs> well, I know it's chrome, gold, and black. One and a half inch um, Phillips overhaul. Um, <clears throat> nine sixteenths, Johnny, is what it's saying. 14.25 millimeter diameter. <clears throat> I mean, they're only. I mean, they're. Uh, they come in a twelve pack, and they're eleven dollars and forty three cents. Mm -hmm. I just don't know. They look like they're all the same. I mean, geez, these. You think these would probably work? <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. Here, I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a picture of this and text it to you guys. Okay. And then if it's what you're looking for, um, okay. Uh, Raymond, you messaged me about a, a guitar pick. Where did where did you where did you send the message? <clears throat> I've I've got a pick right here with with your name on it, man. Well, actually, it's my name, but. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. With your name on it. <laughs> Actually, it's my it's my name, but um, yes, I'll, I'll send this to you. Let me make sure I, I I got your message. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I'll uh I'll have to look into that. Yeah, check that out, Johnny. Those those might very well be exactly what you're looking for. Brian Davies said that he he got like a whole box of some, and he said the, the ones he got work. Then those are probably what you're looking for. Um, <clears throat> yeah, are those the ferals you're looking for? <laughs> These are not the ferals you're looking for. These are not the grommets you're looking for. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bozik. That's right. Yeah, that, that is a tone pro, tone pros bridge. Yes, it is. Um, I also need the, uh, the the studs as well. Like like I, I need another one of the I need another bridge like that, and then and then the the studs because I I had them pulled from this other body. Um. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Yep. <laughs> so what is it? Six forty-five. I don't know, but I feel a lot better now. Oh. Oh, oh. you went outside. <laughs> <laughs> Dave went outside. Brandy took you outside. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Dave Facebook just, Messenger. Huh? Dave just had uh, two burritos and a root beer float. No, I didn't. It wasn't quite that bad. It was the root beer float part of it. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Could you guys eat two burritos? Yep. 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 You could eat two, like, big burritos? Yeah, Probably not big. Yeah, I could eat two of them. I'd be sick afterwards, but I can eat them. Mm -hmm. Yep. Can't you? Two burritos? No, that's too much food for me. Well, just order it without rice in it. What? The burrito? Yeah. <clears throat> Everything oh, except rice. Both of them? Yeah. Are we talking Moe's burritos or Chipotle's burritos? <laughs> They're the same. One and the same. Chip <laughs> Moe's and Chipotle make the same exact burrito. Are you sure? Yes. <clears throat> I've gone to both places, in fact, recently. Two days in a row? Desiree was there too, huh? Raymond, my, I 5150, you, I... my 5150 is Sunset Orange. I know you guys went to Chipotle because I, I was at Chipotle and she, she had said something how they were. Uh, you guys were just there. Johnny said that like, like Step Brothers. I know you guys went to Chipotle. I know you trust my drum set. I know. I your dirty little <laughs> I know you went there and you didn't ask me for anything. You didn't ask me if I wanted anything. Shut up. 
<laughs> you are insane. <laughs> you should be medicated. <laughs> what's going on? What's going on with Howie? Why is he walking funny? Huh? All right. Oh, because he, he's itchy. He itches. You got fleas? No. No, he just he just, he just right? right? You itch? Yeah, see right there. Right there. He's itching. Yeah. He's trying to he's trying to scratch, is what he's doing. Oh, yeah. now he's stretching. No. Is it time for his walk? Does he want his walk? Is that what he wants? Oh, of course. Oh. Of course. Yeah. I, I took him with me earlier though, when I went to the, the post office when I ran into who I thought was Jerry Springer. Um I, I took him with me. We we went for a ride. Mm. Nice. We were going for a ride. Huh? You like the way I throw my voice? <laughs> <laughs> Was that Brandy? Yeah, she's got a really deep voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh? Well, that was D nice. <laughs> <Do nice. laughs> what is that from is that a show or is that a movie? no it's from it's from that uh, that uh, i don't know you see it on facebook it's like it's a comedy from a movie where the substitute teacher you know he uh, pronounces everyone's names wrong yeah you know, denise is yo be nice you know, balake instead of blake uh, a A Ron instead of Aaron. Yo, is A A Ron here? You better be A A Ron. Yeah, that guy. That guy's funny. <laughs> it's Aaron. A A Ron. Yeah. Go take yourself to Osag Hennessy's office. You mean Principal O'Shaughnessy? Huh? Nothing. Key and Peel. Is that a show? I don't know anything about. It. It, it looks like it's – I'm sure you guys, you've all seen it, or at least you've seen that clip. Man, that's funny. Yeah. It looks like it's from a, a show, like like a comedy sketch. Jay Quellen. <laughs> Jay Quellen. <laughs> Jacqueline? <No. laughs> Chipotle's and Moe's are the same? Yeah, it's very similar. Similar. Very similar. I know it's not the same company. You know, Chipotle used to be owned by McDonald's. No, I didn't know that. Did you know that? Yeah. Nope. Chipotle has been around since like, uh, what, early 90s? 93 or something? It was just a small, uh, just a, a local local uh, restaurant somewhere. Mm -hmm. Maybe in uh, Denver or I forget, somewhere. Ohio. Michigan. Hi, Ohio. Missouri. Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. That was in the 93. Uh, yeah. 50, 50, 50. Hi, Ohio. Ohio. Now, yeah, and Mike Lincoln's like, now batting for Pedro. <laughs> Rob knows all this stuff. Ohio. Oh, it's by Ohio. By Ohio. They had the Ohio. echo. By Ohio. They, they had all the same echo problems as we do. Um, you know, you're the only person that hears it, so I, I tend to believe there isn't any echo problem. You're just I making, heard it. You're just making problems. You're just making excuses. Mm -hmm. Huh? Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. Anyway. Do you guys know today is National Selfie Day? Is it really? Did everybody, <laughs> everybody post a selfie yet today? Hang on. Not a shirtless selfie. <laughs> there he goes. Hey, Dave, you need a selfie stick. I don't need anything like that. I, yeah. I've everybody. Got a selfie stick. <laughs> everybody, grab your phone. Post a selfie right now. Is everybody on Instagram? Nope. I'm going to do this. I'm going to post a selfie to Instagram right now for National Selfie Day. Huh? Mr. BHB. Is that Bruce? He heard the echo. It's this. Here we go. I'm, I'm going to post a selfie today. I'll post one too. Easy, Dennis. There we go. You guys, you guys are going to see this on uh, Instagram any second. 
for National Selfie Day. You look like an airplane pilot. Pilot. <laughs> In one of those little planes, you know, like the one that Snoopy's chasing after? Here is my selfie for hashtag National Selfie Day. I hope that's the right hashtag. Take care, Raymond. I hope we answered all your questions. See you, Raymond. Okay, I'll show you guys my selfie. Here's my selfie. Desiree, this is for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, National Selfie Day. That's it. I'm going to tag myself. I'm going to try. Hang on. Let's do it. All right. All right. Huh? All right, man. You're out. There You're it out. Is. Like a fat kid in dodgeball. <laughs> <laughs> a fat kid in dodgeball. There's mine. On my Instagram. There it is. All right. Here's my put my post in mine. <clears throat> post yours, and I'll like it. Okay, I'm gonna like Johnny's. You see mine? You wanna see mine? I don't see, see mine? Where's see Johnny? Mine? I don't see Johnny's yet. See mine? You don't see it? No. Should be there. Mine's gonna stay. How do you post to Instagram? Um, you do it, Johnny. I'm gonna send this to you, and I'm gonna let you do it. It's kind of like Facebook. All right, here's mine. Mine. Instagram. Timothy Pierce. He's out. Oh, and we're live. Dave, are those the grommets that he would need, the ferals? No. Those aren't the ones? Nope. Negatory. They will not work. Huh? They will not work. See you, Tim. What? Your, your Instagram doesn't work? No. The, he, he sent me, Rob sent me a photo of grommets. For, and they're not any, and none of them work for you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Daniel. Oh no. He took a he took a selfie and his phone cracked. Oh no. <laughs> That's an expensive selfie. <laughs> Did you guys get my selfie to put on Instagram? Yeah. Here's Dad. I got it. What? On your Instagram? I don't know how to do it. Are you are you want us to put your selfie on our Instagrams? Uh huh. Is that what you, is, but but that's you, not us. So what? It's not me. I I don't want it to be you. Put it on Facebook. Oh, Actually, put it on that's... Facebook. That's kind of scary, though. <laughs> I'll put this up. I'll, I'll, I'll put... Just call me Beaker. That's kind of creepy. It's nothing creepy about it. You, just call, you call me a creep? <laughs> creep? That's a great song, man. No, it's not. Dude, I've been listening to Radiohead nonstop. Yeah, well, I'm very proud of you. I thought you were talking about the uh, the TLC version. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Yeah. Creep. Creep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Well, that, that's a good song, too. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Brandy. Yep.
What? Are we good? Chris, I will not send my photo to your Twitter. That's just na naughty. Exactly <laughs> two hours. Send it to my Twitter. I will tweet tweet it out. His his picture. It's kind of creepy. Ugh. <laughs> I look like an like a half an egghead. I see it. Ice tea. What? 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 You can't get into your Twitter? No. It's too small. What? My Twitter is too small. I can't get into it. Steve says a friend of his uh, went to went to a recent Radiohead concert, and they didn't even play Creep. I guess they were a bunch of creeps for not playing it. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you guys good? Yeah. I it's been two hours. Yep. Two hours exactly. Um, yep, 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 yep. Mike, 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 Mike. Gonk. Thank you, thank you, Alex Oatman, for just liking my uh, my selfie on Instagram. Gonk. Geeker. All right, and since we really didn't spend much time talking about Wolfgang, it is Wolfgang Wednesday. Happy Wolfgang Wednesday, everybody. Happy Wolfgang Wednesday. My my whole wall is Wolfgangs. What are you talking about? There's plenty of Wolfgangs in the in this in this. I know, but you never went up and actually grabbed. Dude, you know, when you make more than one in a row, then you can come talk to us. <laughs> okay. No, Desiree, you, you can't write me back now because now I'm mad at you and I won't answer you, so don't waste your time writing me back. So I don't want wow. to <laughs> I'm kidding, Desiree. I'm joking. I'm joking. Here's Rob here's Rob's selfie. Yeah. <laughs> duck face, a duck, duck face. face, duck face, duck face. Oh, by the way, oh, never mind. I'll tell you guys offline. Forget. It. <clears throat> yeah, I'll tell you guys something too. Yeah, so go uh, follow Rob on Instagram. I'll tell you guys something right here, right now. Rob <laughs> CJ five one five zero. There's Rob's Instagram. Yep. What's up with that bald spot, though? Go follow him. What bald spot? I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> wow. Desiree, All right. you can't ignore me. You know you can't. Uh oh. Oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Desiree didn't send me anything. Of course, it's not my birthday, but it's fine. <laughs> I want to see what her response is going to be. She sent me something. It's not my birthday. Yeah, well, she's your girlfriend, so she should. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes. I can't wait oh. to get it. I, I haven't received it yet, though. Nice. Uh, Paul Glover, that is a sexy guitar, Rob. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, <clears throat> I love that guitar. That's, you know, I mean, very rarely will I ever. <clears throat> I'm a huge fan of the original Ernie Ball Music Man. Eddie Van Halen guitars, and I, and I love mine, and I would never sell it, but I, um, <clears throat> I'm not saying I like this one better, but I will say that this, this is one of those rare gems I was talking about. It really is. I mean, it's just incredible. Um, done a lot of work to it. You know, it didn't need to do anything to it. It played great out of the box. It was just, obviously, it's, you know, it's been relicked and heavily relicked in, in a lot of ways, but yeah, it is. It's a great guitar. I love it. <clears throat> Love it. Absolutely. I have a dog that looks like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Dave, speaking of that, when are you going to do one of these? Multicolor. I'm, I'm not going to. Oh, you said that about the shark for years. You said you had no interest in a shark at all. So Too much work. This Too is easy. Much. This yeah. is a piece of cake. Purple body. And then the tape literally takes – you don't even have to have anybody do it. You can do it yourself. It tape uh, it. I'm not doing any guitars that Chris Hubbard's going to do. Yeah, he's, 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 you know, he, he's cornering the market. I don't want to be a follower. Let him, I'm going to let him and you have the glory on that. The two <laughs> of you guys. 
It's you know I'm not doing I'm not doing a nine one eight V either now. <laughs> Actually, it'd be kind of cool if you were gonna do one of the backup framers. Which one would it be? Do you know the one that we were talking about tonight, maybe or? I don't know. We were actually talking about that last year. You and me were talking about doing a couple of the backup framers. I actually have the I have the body right here, but I don't want to I don't want to ruin a, a perfectly good 1985 guitar to to paint it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> Johnny, what's your what's your next guitar going to be? Uh, well, if I can find some grommets. Yeah, it'll be <laughs> that's awesome. a, that's the truth. That's the truth. My next, my next guitar would be, ah, would, 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 would be the one that he smacks yeah. himself in the face with. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's the story, guys, on the fifty-one fifty EVH Stripe series? Who did knows? It get, did it get pushed off? It's definitely got pushed off. <laughs> Looks like it. Some yeah. somebody was saying mid July in Canada. Okay. Where's Alex? Alex said they were not going to get delayed. <laughs> Take it with you. Take them with you, though. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's if it's going to be July or October. What's the holdup? They're all July. done. I think it's going to be July October. <clears throat> Hold October. Yeah. Oh, the see? thing is, what's the holdup? They're all done. There's not. Are they? Did you know that? Huh? You know that for a fact that they're all done. Well, I mean, what's the holdup? They came to Nam, so they're done. No. What do you mean? There was only two of them built at NAM. Well, then why put a release date out there? Because probably they thought they could have them all done by then. So what's a what's a what's a typical starting run number for like a guitar like that? Would you say like on an average, how many would they like average like put out? Maybe I, don't I have know. no idea. Three hundred, <clears throat> maybe more. Fifteen hundred? Who knows? I, I would imagine I would imagine they probably want to you know at least get all the pre-orders done because they were you know companies were taking pre-orders on that guitar. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. They'll be, they'll be making thousands of those things. Yes, eventually, but I mean the first initial run, how many you know I would imagine they'd have to at least get all the pre-orders done right. first. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, actually, now that you think about it, <clears throat> uh, this this the Star guitar, the Star Stripe series got pushed back too. I remember a little bit. I'm pretty sure it did because I had one on order also through Sweetwater, and it didn't get pushed back very far. But I think it was like a month, month and a half. I want to say. So maybe with any luck, it will be a July date. You know, Johnny, you're still going to grab one of those, right? Are you going to try? Yep. You gotta try. Not again? You just went out. <laughs> you didn't thought, go out? She's no, you're you're the one that went out. No, she went out. I went to the restroom. I went to the. Little, she let you out. I went to the little guitar player's room while she went out. Dave's in the bathroom jamming. <laughs> She's saying, "All right, it's time to go." <laughs> I remember a when, when Brandy talks, everyone listens. So, are you guys good? 98, no? 98 interview, Eddie had a had a 5150 combo, he said, in his bathroom. And he used to play on, in the bathroom. Yeah. I've, I've got a picture of him in the bathroom. Do you really? With, with, he has a little home studio in his bathroom. With a 5150 combo? Uh, I'd, I'd have to look. When was that? Yeah, it was like 90, 97, 98. <laughs> yeah. She just, knows, yeah. she just knows my guitar out of the way as to, as to say, yo, come on, let's go. She has to go. She needs to go. Is right. She has to go. Yeah. We'll take take her out and then come back and then we'll and then we'll split. All right. All right. We're leaving. This is Johnny B. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who's that cute guy with the guitar next to him? I don't know, but I like the other picture better with the glasses. The one you wanted us to put on Instagram. Come on, let's go. Okay. That, that that photo is creepy, man. <laughs> this is this is creepy. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it looks like? It looks like Johnny. It looks like one of those. What do you call those things? The 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 cartoons and the picture of the guy like this. Oh, that that's uh, <laughs> K Kilroy. Yeah, I, I think so. Was it Sticks? What was it? Yeah, K Kilroy was here. 
<laughs> Till the end. Is that is that it? Is it Kilroy? Yep. Yeah. I don't... <laughs> yes, Desiree, we're on speaking terms. Relax. Uh oh. Good night, Bozik. <clears throat> The heck is now? Oh. Cheers. Is that diet snapple? Yep. Ugh. It's lemonade iced tea. Lemonade, that cool refreshing drink. All right, so now I'm back. And Brandy, right. Brandy, We're good. Glad she just wanted to get a bone. See you, Adam EVH. So we're good? Yeah, we're good. Man, I, I wish I could find that picture. Of what? Of, of uh, Van Halen's bathroom studio. I know I, I know I don't have it on my phone. I know it's not on here. If I can, if I can find it. It's somewhere. All right. Good night, Desiree. All right. I think we're good. Are we good? Although more people are showing up now. So I don't Ooh, know. 40 people. <laughs> yeah, it's been two hours. It's been two hours. That's God. Wobble, wobble. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Just one of, what? one of my many fans. Uh huh. Mom. <laughs> oh, your biggest My fan. biggest fan. Hi, Mom. <laughs> All right. Lordy. I think we're good. We're out of TV time, John says. See you Friday. Bozik says. Good night, Paul Glover. Yeah, I, I guess we're I guess we're done. Here's my license plate. Actually, if I do this, it'll it'll fit. Wait. Yeah, nice try. Wait, wait, how would I? Oh, here we go. It'd be this way. There it is. Almost. My license plate has to fit on the outside of it for it to fit. Oh, boy. Yeah. It's like 3D. Woo! Okay. Yeah. No yeah, to let you guys know, that's, that's the city I live on. I live in Capitola. Rock and roll. Yeah, probably at one point you did. <laughs> Look it up. What was that? I don't know. It sounded like a U-boat. <laughs> huh? Yep. Yep. All right. All right. We're out of here. That's very funny. Desiree said she should have guessed smaller. Yeah, well, you know, it's Johnny. Uh... <laughs> Oh, Yikes. never gets never gets old. Never, never gets old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. I never get old. Twenty nine again. All right, Rob. Good to see you. Good to see you, gentlemen, as well. Awesome yep. pleasure. Yep. Uh, Dave. Toodles. Always. <laughs> Always, Dave. I love you too, Desiree. All right. Johnny Bean, johnnybean.com. We'll see you guys uh, Friday? Friday. Friday. Or maybe we'll, maybe we'll just go live every day from now on. What do you think? No. From now on, every day. Every day. Yeah, I know you can't see that. There it is. All right. All Dave, all night. <laughs> That's what Desiree said. <laughs> All right. My cards. Take them. Yeah. Very cool. Very I love cool. that picture. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Nam show. All right. See you guys. Night, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>